So it might seem like nonsense writing if we think about the literature of Edward Lear and Lewis Carroll or Dadaist poetry or Surrealist poetry. It's something marginal, something uh, that's a minority literary taste and something not very uh, central to the mainstream of, of the subject. But writing about nonsense, I want to argue, is literary criticism in miniature, in essence. Uh, so much of the poetry that we encounter makes more or less sense to us. And there might be many reasons why poetry doesn't make sense, from complexity of grammar to obscurity to playfulness. Literature is language bent out of shape, from its ordinary syntactic, practical, workaday, uh, communicative functions. Uh, literature takes language and twists it into strange shapes. And it's always on the edge of nonsense. One critic, a great contemporary critic, uh, talks about reading poetry as a series of close calls with nonsense. So we think about uh, romantic or Victorian poetry, a poem like Tennyson, now sleeps the crimson petal, now the white, uh, nor waves the cypress in the palace walk. This is a poem which uh, is full of apparent nonsense. And we need to sift through our writing, through our analysis, through our thinking, how much of that is nonsense and how much of that is sense. So literary criticism, I want to say, is uh, writing about nonsense. Another respect in which that's true is that nonsense makes us think about questions of intention. So if we look at something that's more obviously a piece of nonsense poetry, Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky, for example, uh, "'Twas Brillig and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe." The first thing we might want to say about that and the Tennyson example is that the Lewis Carroll example is intended to be nonsense. The author intended it to make no sense. So we're taken into questions, those central questions about any literature, about what the author intends for the writing, how much that matters to us, how much that ought to structure our readings of the writing. Uh, so writing about nonsense is not, I would argue, uh, a niche or uh, a marginal aspect of the subject, but in some sense the heart of, of literary criticism.